Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about advanced footwork when you're driving towards the rim and going in for a layup or a dunk. This is not a video that you want to miss so make sure that you watch the full thing because this is going to make you 10 times better of a player than you were yesterday. So as you know, a regular layup is on the right side. A regular layup is going to be a dribble on your left foot. Then you go right, left, and up. And it's going to be like if there's a string attached from your elbow down to your knee. This is not advanced. This is a regular layup. On the right side, left, right, left, up. Now, how can we make this more advanced? Well, first off, you never or you're not always in a position to do a regular layup. You're not always in that position. Sometimes you might be on your right foot, left, right, and then up. Now this is unconventional and you it might be going against what some of your coaches have ever taught you. However, if you're driving towards the rim in the middle of the game, you're gonna be in situations where you might not be able to do a conventional layup. You may have started too early or you may have started too late and you haven't hit your right spot and you need to slow down to be able to do the conventional proper layup which could get your shot blocked. This is why I teach every single player on either side to be able to take a right step, left, right and up and then also a left step, right, left and up. Like we, like I, that's just how I like to teach it because you never know what situation you're gonna be in. However, what's even more advanced than this? So what's even more advanced than that is if you were to only take one step. Now, the reason why you would wanna take one step instead of two steps is because a lot of defenders are smart and they actually time how long it takes you to take two steps. They'll be watching your feet. If you're coming down on a fast break, They'll be watching your feet to see when you dribble, when you pick up your dribble, and when you take your first step versus your second step. So if you're coming in for a left-handed layup, you'd go right step, left, right, up. If they can time that, they can block your shot a lot easier. So if you're a defender right now and you didn't know that, that's a really easy way to time a block. However, on the offensive side, if you are playing against a very elite defender or a very elite team who actually know that tip, who know to time your steps to block your shot, you need to now know that taking your two steps is going to be a hindrance on you getting blocked. So what you need to do is do it in one step. So what this is going to consist of is just basically a dribble, step, one and up and of course it's hard to make shots when you're on camera however basically one step only this is going to cut down on the ability of the defender to block your shot it's a much faster layup we see players like john moran doing this all the time because of his size he's not the tallest on the court but he is the most athletic so if you can practice your two-step layup and then practice both feet on either side and then go into one step layups and practicing on both feet. And what I mean by that is dribbling on your right, one step up, and then dribbling on your left, right step up. And practicing this over and over is gonna help you in game to stop getting your shot blocked. This is a massive, massive advantage over every single other player on the court. Now, another set of footwork that you can use is the two, two foot takeoff, but it, basically this is called the jump stop. And basically what you're gonna be doing is driving towards the rim, and then you're gonna do a jump stop in front, or hop step, whatever you wanna call it, in front of your defender. And basically what this is going to do for you is you're going to be driving down on your defender. If you've got a half a body size or width ahead of your defender, you can go and you can go and hop step in front, which now cuts off that defender and he's now behind you. So one of two things are going to happen. So number one, he's going to not be able to stop in time. He's going to run into you. It's going to be a foul. Number two, 
he's gonna be behind you. And now you're here and you can go for a regular layup or if you have the hops, you can actually just go and do a hop step in front and then go out for your dunk. Obviously, if you've got the strength, I currently do not. And then also what this is doing for you is it's helping stop that defender from blocking your shot. That's essentially what this whole video is about. Now the final set of footwork that I'm gonna show you down here in the low post, still driving move, is gonna be a spin reverse. So basically what you're gonna be doing here is let's say you're driving on your defender and you've got your defender, instead of doing a jump stop where he would be behind you, let's say he's kept up with you and he's now trying to take a charge or he's just trying to get in front to contest that layup or that shot. What you wanna do is when you're driving now, you're driving, you wanna plant that left foot on a dribble. What this is gonna do for you, and preferably you're doing this between their feet, you're gonna now spin, that's one step, two steps, and then up for the reverse. So a little bit quicker is going to be the dribbling down, bang, one, two, and up on this side. Now what this is gonna do for you is, of course, you're gonna be getting away from that defender quite easily. When you do that spin, obviously your back is gonna to be to that defender. It's gonna be very hard for him to go over your back to block your shot. But also, this mesh that's right here, this works as a fantastic defender. And what I mean by that is when you're coming off that spin and you're going up, well, if he tries to block you, he's gonna hit that mesh. And if he hits that mesh, guess what? That's an interrupted basket. Whether you make that layup or not, he should get called for a basket interference. And because of that, you get an easy layup, whether you make it or not. So a little bit quicker is going to be dribble, one, two, and up. And I cannot make layups today at all. Now what I would really like you to do today or the next day if it doesn't rain like it looks like it's going to today is to go out to your local park or to a gym that's open and to practice each one of these moves 10 times for three sets. So three sets of 10 on each side with each variation. And I can tell you right now, you're gonna be a much better basketball player tomorrow. Now, if you do this every single day for the next 20 days, you're gonna become such a ridiculously great driving player or slashing player in basketball that you're gonna be probably upping your scoring average by at least a couple of points per game at a minimum. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.